filed this one under what will they think of next? A car vending machine is coming to Philadelphia. You might have already driven past it. I'm the news reporter Matt Petrillo is live in Fishtown with the details. Matt, good morning. Hi, good morning to you. Yeah, it's called Carvana. The company's latest car vending machine is right here in Fishtown. It's that brightly blue lit building behind me here between the Market Frankfurt line and 95. Drivers on 95, they can actually see those blue lights beaming from the highway. But we wanted to know, is the vending machine concept just a gimmick? And is this building right for the trendy Fishtown neighborhood? It's a unique part of the landscape, I guess. It's a little different. It's pretty cool just to see all the cars lit up. I've seen it on 95. So I had to stop to see it because it's great. It's, it's awesome. Web-based auto dealer Carvana already has locations in Houston, Nashville, and Atlanta. Soon it's expected to open a garage here in Fishtown. It definitely fits in with Fishtown. It's a young, young neighborhood. Uh, I'm sure it will get a lot of use. So here's how Carvana works. After selecting and buying a car from online, Customers go to the garage where they insert a big coin into a slot just like a vending machine and pick up the car. Customers are able to test drive it for seven days. I can't stand dealerships or car salesmen for that matter. So yeah, I would happily buy it online at a fixed price. If customers don't like the car within the week of purchase, they can return it and then test drive up to two other cars. Maybe I would consider it. Yes, I would. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. The vending machine concept may sound gimmicky, but by having customers make their purchase online without a salesperson, buying a car can be less of a hassle. And by cutting out that middleman, Carvana's vehicles may also be less expensive, so says this Temple University Fox School of Business professor. The key reason uh, or key business success factor for them was uh, remove the middleman because the middleman uh, really was uh, eating up a lot of money and they found a way to do that. Back out here live, the professor tells us those prices could be as much as $1,600 less expensive than book values. Now, we wanted to talk to Carvana on camera and get a little tour inside, but right now they're not commenting. They're not even telling us when they expect this to open, but we checked online and the website right now is up and running. Reporting live in Fishtown, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. I'm wondering if it's like our vending machine, you know, because like I can't get the Fritos out of there. I'm wondering if a car ever gets stuck in these things. That's a good question. So, Matt, when you finally talk to Carvana, hopefully you can ask them that. But in the meantime, you certainly got Jim and I attention. Mm -hmm. And also with the music, we might want to go to the club in our new car. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Yep. Poor Matt has no idea what we're talking about. <laughs>